Sam, Channel 2 News. Coming up, John Coleman. Teen of those times, just and watched the whole thing. What's a Broadway party without Helen Hayes? Ruth Gordon and Garson Kanan. The glamorous Merle Streep, just a few of the famous guests here to celebrate the success of Chorus Line. The glitter and the lights outside drew the crowds, hoping to get a glimpse of their favorite stars. But this was more than a party. It was sort of a family reunion. Everybody who's he said. formed in Chorus Line on Broadway or in the touring company was invited here to take part in this special night. This actress even brought her baby. I was in Chorus Line in 77 out in Los Angeles at the Schubert in Los Angeles. And maybe Chorus Line will run long enough for Caitlin to be in it. <laughs> I asked these performers why Chorus Line has been so popular. The honesty. The honesty of revealing feelings, not being afraid to show the pain that it takes, the endurance that it takes. It touches on everybody's lives, and I think that's what makes this so different and why it's lasted. Tonight, 330 of these one-time cast members will perform the show's finale all at once. We taped them earlier at rehearsal. Doesn't it look great? Well, Chorus Line has won nine Tony Awards and a Pulitzer Prize. It's grossed $260 million. And now this. It's become Broadway's longest-running show. Live from the Theater District, I'm Julie Eckert. Back to you, Ernie. Thank you, Julie. What a night and what a show. Heidi. Well, right behind the Chorus Line are some other shows that have had pretty long runs on Broadway. Grease was the former record holder with 3,000... 388 shows. In 1972, Fiddler on the Roof closed after 3,242 shows. Back in the 40s, Life with Father played 3,244 times. Tobacco Road lasted through 3,182 shows. You still with me? Yep. And the stars of O oh, Calcutta still going strong with 2,000 991 performances. Did wow. you get all that? Yeah. And making his two heaviest range will be in New Jersey where there could be some thunder.